Алло. Ну и каково тебе, когда твой дружок в тюрьме? Кто это? Знаешь, многие хотят свести счеты с Крузом Кастилио. Ужасно. Я хочу знать, кто это говорит. Многие надеются увидеть Круза за решеткой. И вот он там. У них появился шанс. Я буду держать тебя в курсе. Я не знаю, как помочь Крузи. Они уже сняли показания со всех, кто имел отношение к этому делу. Никаких зацепок. Никаких. Я не знаю, что делать. Мы должны что-то решить. Нельзя позволить Крузу гнить в тюрьме. Гений думает. Это очень трудно. Потерпите немного. Гений, по-моему, она права. Мы должны действовать. Вы начинаете действовать, а я прикрою ты. У меня есть идея. Но не думаю, что вы согласитесь на это. Что значит не согласимся? У нас нет выбора. В чем дело? Круз должен бежать оттуда. Лайла, сирень. Уже почта? Да. Вчера ее принесли в пол пятого, сегодня в пол первого с почтальоном что-то случилось. Наверняка. Это все тебе, дорогой. Спасибо. И это. Спасибо. И это. Сирень. Я должна ревновать? Ты думаешь, у меня роман в письмах? Надеюсь, что нет. Твоя секретарша не выдержит такой нагрузки. Пойду, узнаю насчет ланча. Конечно. Сиси, мы не закончили наше дела, моя любовь. Приходи, Джонни, в пять часов обсудим детали. Приходи один. Моя любовь. Сирень? Нет. Не может быть. Наверное, чья-то шутка. Как вам ваш первый выезд? Отлично. Никогда не думала, насколько разными делами может заниматься полицейский. От котов и деревьев до заправочных станций. Бывает намного хуже. А мне запомнилась та семейная ссора. Полицейский должен быть еще и хорошим психологом. Мы справились. В конце концов, мы их помирили. Не очень-то верю в это, Силия. Скорее всего, через неделю мы опять окажемся в том доме. Ты так думаешь? Такой шанс есть. Я подумаю о том, чтобы каждый вечер предлагать новое блюдо. Это привлечет посетителей. Как думаешь? Извини, я не слышала, что ты сказал. Мне хочется каждый вечер готовить какое-то новое блюдо. Национальное или интернациональное. Например, сегодня у нас мясо по-бургунски, а завтра по-луизиански. Потрясающе. Скажешь? Пойду узнаю, чего хочет Брик и его друзья. Милая, Привет. как ты? Мы немного проголодали, принеси нам кофе и три сэндвича с индейкой. Конечно. Сейчас. Прекрасно. Силия, как дела? Восхитительно. Это правда. Одни сюрпризы. Никогда не знаешь, что случится через минуту. Эй, ребята, я получил сообщение. Ограбление на Стейт-стрит. Надо ехать. Заказ отменяется. Увидимся позже. Пока. Увидимся, дорогая. Что-то не так. Что? Я звонила Иден. Она очень долго не подходила к телефону. Может, она была занята? Нет, милая, она не сказала, что занята, и голос у нее был слишком взволнованный. Это и понятно после всего случившегося. Знаю, но у меня такое чувство, что все-таки что-то произошло. По-моему, ты чересчур переживаешь за Иден. Я по дороге заеду к ней и узнаю, как она. Прекрасно, спасибо. Увидимся. Стой, стой! Что? Что? Ты забыл, что мы договаривались о ланче с Келли и Джеффри. Извини, дорогая, в 12.30 у меня встреча. В 
Впервые об этом слышу. Мне недавно позвонили, я совсем забыла о ланче. Надеюсь, вы с Келли и Джеффри не будете скучать. Минутку. Мне нужно поговорить с тобой. Милый, у меня сейчас нет времени. Это важно, всего две минуты. Хорошо, в чем дело? О нас. Что о нас? Вернее тебе. Последнее время ты какой-то странный. Очень странный. И что во мне странного? Угрюмый. Скрытный. Рассеянный. Дорогой, если что-то происходит или что-то случилось, я хочу... Ничего не происходит, ничего не случилось. Я хочу, чтобы ты поделился со мной. Мне кажется, ты пытаешься защитить меня. Я знаю, каково тебе было последние несколько недель из-за всего, что произошло в семье. Нам всем было тяжело, но не держи все это в себе. От этого будет только хуже всем нам. Прости, дорогая, я не хотел. Все в порядке. Помнишь, как ты хотел, чтобы я поделилась с тобой своей болью, когда мы думали, что Иден погибла? Последуй своему совету. Привет! Привет. В чем дело, котенок? Ты выглядишь невесело. Я волнуюсь за Иден и не знаю, чем ей помочь, мама. Единственное, что мы можем сделать, это быть рядом с ней и поддерживать ее. Знаю. Я не могу помочь, и мне стыдно, потому что я счастлива с Джеффри, а ей так тяжело. Я пытался объяснить ей, что если она будет несчастна, это не поможет Иден. Ты абсолютно прав. Иден, не понравились бы твои мысли. Вы должны думать о предстоящей свадьбе. Я знаю. Мама абсолютно...
I was at the house today, and I talked to Mother. And Jeffrey and I have decided to go ahead with the wedding plans. But if you mind, if you mind, I want you to tell me and be honest with me. <sighs> Kelly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Really? Really. Really, 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 really. <laughs> I'm really oh, happy Oh, well, you. I'm glad. I am. But I'll tell you honestly, I can't help but feel a little guilty. Please don't. You have so many wonderful things that are going to happen to you. Cruz, you'd be really upset if you postponed it because of him. Well, Mother said that too, but I... Believe her. Let me tell him myself, okay? Okay. Can I do that? Yes. What is this doing off the hook? You can't do business that way. What? What? Oh, no. I, I just, uh, I, I took it off the hook because I didn't want any interruptions. Well, Cruz has an answering machine, doesn't he? Why don't you turn that on? Yeah, I forgot. You know what? What? I think maybe you need to relax a little bit. I tell you what, why don't you come home with me? Come home, we can get our fitting together. She can do us both at once. And I know she talks, I'll shut her up, I promise. <laughs> Kelly, I really think I should stay here. Pearl, Carmen, Kane, they're all out questioning people. And I really want to be here to find out if they've found out anything. Well, they can call you at the house, can't they? Come on, leave a note, tell them that you're over there. Please, 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 please. Yeah. I'm not going unless you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> No. Last resort sex agency. Hannah? It's probably the wrong number. Or they just didn't like my phone voice. What's going on? Why don't you want to answer the phone? I don't think I have to answer any more questions. I already told the cops everything I know. Hey, is this the kind of laser gun you use? Yeah, why? Great, it's a neat model. It's a thousand times better than the one I used to zap with. You've played laser tag before? Sure, I used to play a lot. There was this laser palace near where I used to live in Chula Vista. It doesn't compare to this in any way. The kids would flip over this. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Why don't you come by after opening day and uh, be my guest? I'd love it. I just wish you could help us out. You know, my brother's been in a lot of trouble over what happened here that night. He didn't even do anything wrong. I know that. And I'm sorry, but I don't know what else I can do to help you. Well, actually, sir, I think there might be one thing. Now, the day that you rented this place to her, do you recall maybe what kind of a mood she was in? I don't know. She was kind of up and down, you know? One minute she was friendly, and the next minute she'd get angry for no reason at all. Uh -huh. Like I told her, it would be cheaper for her to rent this place for the week. That she got mad and said she only wanted it for the day. I do remember that she was always looking at her watch, though. Mm. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh huh. She paid me by check, though. By check. Well, you 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 can't remember any other little details along the way. No. Look, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut this kind of short. You guys can look around some more if you want to, but I got to get ready for the opening. Yeah, thanks. thanks a lot. We won't be here too long. And you come back now, for sure. <sighs> Opening day's on me. Thanks. I'll pick you up on it. Well, you got him calmed down a little bit, I see. Well, you see, I'm not so bad with people after all. <laughs> I just wish she could have told us more. Well, we do know that she had one day, one day to make preparations after she rented the place. But what those preparations were, or how to trace her movements over that day, we have no idea. I'm beginning to wonder what the use is in this investigation. It's taken us nowhere. What the use is? Come on, Pearl. You know, if you were in jail and Cruz was trying to get you out, he'd never give up. He's starting to think that he did kill her. when there's trouble. Get back to the car and stay there, now. Hey, Dave, look at this. Check out the bathroom. Look, maybe Dave's right. Let's get out of here. No, no wait a minute. What is it? I think I saw something move over there behind the counter. You sure? Not yet. Is 
should have taken your pal's advice and getting out of here. Now you're not going anywhere. Я принес еще четыре ящика этого каберне.
you and Cruz are going to have the most beautiful wedding you've ever dreamed of. Yeah, I know. I tell you, I promised myself something, though, Mama. I'm not going to be in this wheelchair. I want to be able to stand up, walk down the aisle, and exchange vows with you. So then I checked out the mall security office to see if anyone had heard or seen anything unusual on the night of Elena's death. Well, that's great. Did you find out anything useful? Well, just an unconfirmed rumor that one of the neighbors had been out walking his dog at the time and that he had seen someone running from the scene. Well, that's great. Did you find out who he is? Well, I got uh, his name and address, but when I went to check, he was out of town. He's out on business. But I did talk to his wife, and she gave me some numbers where he might be reached, but if I don't reach him there, he's not back in town until next week. Well, that's terrific. You, you want us to help you out at all? No, I think I can dial a phone as easily as anybody else. But how did you guys do? Find anything? Nothing yet. What are you talking about? We had that interview with the manager at the Laser Palace, remember? What happened? Well, nothing much came of it. Oh. Well, don't worry. Keep looking. Uh, look, I'm going to tell Eden about these. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. He's going to talk to us later. Since when does he become bosom buddies with Cruzy? You tell me that, huh? Yeah, I guess it does seem that way, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you something else, too. All of a sudden, he's put the jersey on and the pads. He's calling the plays, right? Maybe he's just getting into it. Does it bother you? Me? Why should it bother me? I've never been adverse to help from a few friends. I just don't get all of a sudden he's so hip to help on Cruzy, right? I mean, like, he's not going to rest he gets him out of jail. Where does that come from? Well, maybe it's not Cruz. Maybe it's Eden. I mean, you did say she was... He was kind of crazy over her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just... I'm ashamed to go out on the first interview on this investigation. I'm ready to call it kaput. He's running around town like Clark Kent or something. You were... You were dead right to put the finger on me. I didn't mean to come down on you the way I did. No, no. If it hadn't been for me losing Eleanor's trail, none of this would have ever happened. Come on, Tony. You can't go on blaming yourself. You know, everybody makes mistakes. And you're a good detective and you know it. You got the most loyal friend that Cruz could ever ask for. You don't really think that I think that your brother's guilty? Oh, I had no business saying that. I was just upset. I just hope you'll forgive me. Done. Good. <laughs> Stop kicking yourself in the pants, and let's see what we can do about tracing Eleanor's tracks on her last night. Right off. Okay, I was just thinking, ah, uh, what about checking out some of the objects in her apartment on the day of the crime? Maybe it'll lead us somewhere. Yeah, How are we going to do that? Uh, doesn't the prosecution have that under lock and key? Well, the defense is entitled to know what the prosecution has. Are we? I don't know, are we? You're asking me? I don't know. But we got to figure out some way to have Cruz's lawyers work for the $90 an hour. What? Like, get a rig or something? A what? A rig. Right. No, a rig. Like, a rig. Like, what if we can't? Is it? Well, then we'll, we'll figure out another angle. I mean, there's got to be more than one way to skin a cat like he's doing. Well, no, I haven't called the police. Well, because obviously it's just someone making crank calls. Yes, that's why I want an enlisted number. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call you back. There's somebody at the door. Evie, are you in the door? Coming! Could I have your name, please? Yes. Okay, well, I'll call you back soon. Thank you. Coming! Hi. Hi. You all right? Yeah, why? Well, it took you a long time to answer the, the door. Oh, I, I was just on the phone. Oh. What's going on here? Why is it so dark? I was going to take a nap. I closed the drapes. Oh. Well, I didn't expect to see you. Why didn't you call? Well, I was driving by on the way to an appointment. I thought I'd stop in. I don't make you call when you want to come up to our house, do I? No. I just might not have been here. Well, you're here. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> Shall we make the best of it? Okay. May I sit down? Yes, please. Well, before I sit down, let there be light. It's a little dark in here. You're not going to be able to sleep while I'm here anyway. At least I hope not. Is that better? Much better. Much better. Is there anything else I can get you? Yes. A few minutes of your time. You got it. 
Mm. <laughs> Listen, uh... You know, when you and, uh, Cruz moved back in together, uh, I was all for it. You know, it, it, it signified to me that you were forgetting all your problems and you were starting on with the next phase of your life. Yeah, we were. Well, I was happy for you, darling. I really was. But circumstances change. And Cruz is not here right now, you know. Well, I'm hoping he'll be back soon. Well, naturally, I hope that, too. And I'm doing everything I can to make it come about. But I just, I don't think it's right that you sit here alone with your memories to keep you company. Now, listen, you, you, your mother and I were thinking maybe you would like to come back and be with the family for a while, huh? What? Have you been talking to Kelly? Did she tell you about the crank calls? Is that what it is? No, what crank calls? Nothing. It's nothing. Just somebody uh, called and they were being funny, making threats about Cruz. It's nothing. It's just some guys. Really? Just some guys crank? Oh, that's all the more reason for you coming home. I can't do that. Why can't you do that? Daddy, look around this place, would you? It's filled with everything that reminds me of Cruz. It's memories. It's not such bad company. Not painful. Sometimes. But Daddy, every time I feel like I'm separated from him, all I have to do is look around here and I see all the good times. It's like his spirit is here. I don't know how to explain it. It just seems like leaving here would be betraying him in some way. Can you understand that? Of course I understand it. Of course I do. I admire you for it, too. Your loyalty. Look, can we look at it from another point of view? God forbid something happens here. Some kind of an emergency. You're in no condition to handle it yourself. Daddy, nothing is going to happen to me. How can you be so sure, sweetheart? I want to tell you something, okay? Sure. When Cruz and I moved in here, we made a pact with each other. Even though I was handicapped, it wasn't going to matter. If there was something that I couldn't do the old way, I'd learn a new way. Yes, yes, sweetheart, I know that. But then Cruz was here in case an emergency arose. He is not here now. If worse came to worse, Julia is practically next door. And I'm not going to need her. I can take care of myself. Besides... Cruz is going to come back soon. And when he does, I want to be right here waiting for him. Hello. Привет. Oh, hi, uh, oh привет. Eden is this? No, she isn't here. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh... Uh, I'd like very much to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Sure. Thank you. Come in, please. Oh, I'm oh, Okay. I'm glad you're here because I I haven't had an opportunity yet to thank you for everything you've done for us. Well, I know that you put yourself at risk to go after Eleanor, and I mean I just can't tell you how much we appreciate it. It's okay. I uh, I wanted to do it. Now, um, you may not get this thanks from Cece. You're going to have to accept my gratitude to both of us. Still dislikes me, doesn't he? Well, it takes him a little time to come around. He still doesn't quite understand why you had eaten in the mountains so long. I was very confused then. I had a lot of mixed emotions. But I want you to know that underneath all of that, I really did want to protect her. You may not believe it, but it's the truth. No, I think I know that. I mean, everything you've done for her since then has proved how much you care about it. Well, I hope so. She's helped me out a lot. I mean, her faith in me it gave me strength to face my past and to... Stand up to Eleanor. Well, and I, I, I owe you and, and Mr. Capwell a, a lot, too, for putting me up here, even though you didn't trust me or have much reason to. I think the only way I can really thank you is to help get Cruz out, and I want you to know I'm, I'm trying very hard to do that. Thank you so much, and good luck. We're awfully worried. It's a tough spot to be in. Is, is that where Eden is? I mean, is she visiting him right now? No, I don't think so. I believe she's at the beach house. She's still living there. She is. I, I, I didn't know that. I, I just assumed that when Cruz got arrested, she would move back here. I, I came over because I wanted to tell her what, how, how things were going. We want her to be back here, but she insists on staying at the beach house. I don't know. What? You don't know what? What do you mean? What's wrong? 
I I'm just not sure it's the best thing for her to be all alone down there. She may not be safe. This really is where the elite meet to eat. I hope you're hungry, Cece, because we have Beef Bourguignon as our blue plate special. You're cooking here now? That's right. How the mighty have fallen. Oh, contraire. I find cooking very creative. In fact, for me, it's a step upward. <laughs> I suppose anything that pays the minimum hourly wage will be a step up in your life. I'm so pleased I had a part in that. No, 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 don't flatter yourself. No, I'm just helping out Briggs until he sells the place. Oh, that's right, I heard he's giving up all his worldly possessions to become a policeman. Yeah, one of Santa Barbara's finest. Mm, I'm sure he will be. I'm sure all your years in prison will come in handy preparing him for what he'll have to deal with. How about a cup of coffee? You do wait on people, don't you? Yeah, once I, I, I'm convinced they're people. And not some unpleasant subspecies. But, of course, in your case, the tests aren't back yet. <laughs> not bad at all. Yeah. You want me to go for another place for dinner or something? Or? No, you don't have to go anyplace else. Uh, what do you want, a cup of coffee? That's what I want. That's good. I'll get you one. Thank you. Tending to some business, Arlene, that's all. Business? Are you getting yourself in trouble? No, uh, no, no, no. This is instructions from manners telling me where I have to go for my meeting. That's why I didn't know where I was going. Uh, I didn't see you and Jeffrey come in. So oh, we, we were over by the phone. Do you want to join us? Can no, no, I, I really can't do that. I've, I've got to go to the meeting. Why don't you uh, give my regards to him, okay? Daddy, is everything all right? Everything's fine, sweetheart. See you later. Bye. Is he rushing off again, no yes, doubt? Yes, another business meeting, yes. Five o'clock, he's really making a day of it, isn't he? Sure is. Ah, may we, may we. Bonsoir, bonsoir. Yeah. Uh, we have a beef, beef bourguignon as a, as a special. Uh, as what a do you special? think? Special? Okay. That's great. I'm going to take that. That's great. Well, me too, Governor. You know, I didn't know that Johnny's had turned all continental on you like Yeah, that. we're getting a little experimental. <laughs> you tell your friends if you like. You know, know what I mean? Of course. Fancy. <laughs> Okay, do you want anything to start? Uh, I think I'll pass. We'll save our appetite for dinner. Okay. Thank you. I can handle that. <laughs> hey, Penny for your thoughts. Honeymoon. Honeymoon, yeah? Mm-hmm. You? <laughs> <laughs> I mean about where we can spend it. Now listen, I think I have a great idea, but let me pitch it to you. You tell me what you think. Well, yeah, it sounds like the beginning of a new ad campaign, but let's hear it. All right. And I, I really want to go different. Tell me if you don't like it, okay? I'm thinking maybe get a bed and breakfast place in a little New England village. It could be fun, Jeffrey. Now listen, a cozy inn, the fireplace, surrounded by rolling hills. And the leaves would be changing colors that time of the year. What do you think? What do you think? What do I think? I think... And through a window, we can see a distant steeple. And not a sign of people. Yeah! Yes! It sounds <laughs> idyllic. Hey, we can take uh, long walks and listen to church bells ringing on uh, crispy Sunday mornings. And uh, maybe we can have oysters for lunch and lobsters for dinner. Maybe we can patch it ourselves, huh? <laughs> we can go down to the town and talk to the local dudes. Or we'll just be alone. Let's do it. Yes! Oh, good! I'll get on it first thing in the morning, because I figure the, the, the sooner we book, the better off we'll be. Yeah? You know, come here. It's at times like this that I can't help feeling that all our troubles, personal problems, have only ended up strengthening the feelings between us. I know for a fact it has. And I couldn't feel any closer to you. I only wish... But I could be sure that Eden wasn't happy, though. Well, I said you took me for a walk. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You just stay back. Don't be sad. Be right back.
are you doing with that? Oh, you scared me to death. I thought you were a prowler or... I, I almost sh shot you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, but the door was open and your dog was running around and it was quiet. It didn't feel right. I, I, I got worried. What is this? I don't know. Oh, my God. Who... I came home a few minutes ago, and this is what I found. Let me get rid of this. Who did this? I think my father was right. I think I... I, I think I really... should not be here. Well, that's what I thought, too. And I promised your mother I'd come here and try and convince you to moving back home just for a while. I don't think you're going to have to do any selling. I think I'll go home. Will you drive me? Yeah, you bet. Can't I feel really helpless? Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. It's okay to be scared. You know how many times in my life I've been scared? You don't want to know. No, it's not a sign of weakness. It's just a safety mechanism, Okay. I wanted to be here when Cruz came home. You, you can be. You still can be. It's not the same, though, you know. He's there, and he's going through what he's going through, and and I'm just scared to be here in the house alone. I know. I know, but he would want you to be safe. You know, it's just one less thing he has to worry about in there. I think you're right. It seems to me that the best thing you can do for him now is keep yourself in one piece. Let me take you home, okay? Okay. Why don't you get rid of the gun? I'll get the dog. Well, it's like I said already, Dad. To work together as partners, you have to anticipate each other's moves. You have to know exactly what the other person's going to do. I believe it. You should have seen her today. Her instincts were dead on. I mean, she knew exactly what to do at the right time. Well, you weren't bad yourself, partners. Don't give me all the credit. All right, I won't. Actually, we were good together. Well, I'm just glad that you're both back here safely. So am I. Dad, why don't you bring out some champagne? Let's celebrate, huh? What a good idea. Okay, thank you all. All right, here. Okay. Listen, I have to congratulate you both yes. on catching your first armed robber and getting back safely. And, and uh, what do they say down at headquarters? <laughs> they said go, go out and catch another one. <laughs> I think it's pretty run-of-the-mill for them, but I'm still shaking. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Come on, Dad, join us in a, in a toast to our new partnership. Oh, okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Tyler. Tyler. Jane! Well, listen, uh, let, let me introduce you. I have an announcement. An introduction of our new hostess. Jane. Dear Sophia, I'm sorry. I'm going to be late for dinner. Something urgent has come up. I'll be home as soon as I can. to understand the day's events clearly. We have to earn your confidence by examining the issues fairly. That's why at NBC Nightly News, we cover the world with you in mind.